up YouTube welcome to all things blockchain once again it's your boy Remy and I want to say a big thank you to you guys for subscribing to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and make sure you also hit that nice shiny bell so that you can receive notifications whenever we release a new video and once again thank you thank you thank you all right so today we're going to talk about um, the what I feel the top programming languages will be in 2020. I just feel that it's great to uh, kind of talk about what's going to happen in the near future. It's going to be a very exciting future. So if you're ready, see I'm ready. All right, quickly. So if you go to Wikipedia, this is just, I'm not going to pretend like I am the guy who knows everything or knows, you know, this is just what I feel uh, will be the direction that uh, um, most people lean to and uh, more than what I feel, what I think. Why don't we just look at what's on, uh, what's on Wikipedia in terms of the programming languages used in most popular websites. This is a good place to start. So as you can see, these are the big ones. Google, Facebook, YouTube and the rest. So let's look at the front end. For front end, client side, seems like all these guys use JavaScript, which is absolutely awesome. And then for the back end, we have a whole flavor of different languages from C++ to Go to Java. And I'm just going to give this link below. You can check this out on Wikipedia yourself. And uh, we have PHP and a host of others. Now, why is this important? I think this is important because these guys kind of set the pace as to what uh, technology stack other companies use because these are the big boys. So for, it, for instance, with JavaScript, React is a very, very popular JavaScript library. And as you can see, it was developed at Facebook. Where are we? Yeah, Facebook and community. So that goes to sh just shows you how influential these companies are. And Angular, which is also a very popular JavaScript framework, was developed at Google. So that goes to shows back to say that these guys really, really have a lot to say in what direction uh, um, frameworks to lean to anyways so this is something to definitely look at also do check out Andy Stokowitz who's a cool guy he has a channel on YouTube here we go he has some nice, nice videos you can watch learning how to code but I picked up something from his website so he has this free report which you can download and I'll just pull it up here where he talks about what he feels top programming languages are, which is cool. He has JavaScript, he has C Sharp, he has Python, he has SQL, and he has shell scripting. SQL is a structured query language for the backend stuff, or for yeah, database stuff. So if you see here, as you see for databases, we have MySQL, we have Oracle databases, Microsoft SQL Server. So structured query language or SQL is uh, basically for interacting with databases, for relational databases, for running queries and actually writing stored procedures on uh, relational databases. That sounds like French, I know. But basically SQL, according to Andy Stoker, which is something to look at too, which is cool. Anyways, so before I give you my list, just one more, other thing I want to show you. I also got this from Andy's website, which I think he's a rock star for letting us know about. It's a hacker rank. Now this report from HackerRank shows, it's a cool report and I think you should take a look at it. Yes, JavaScript, so it talks about, I'll just show you, it talks about uh, different projects that people did under, with different ages and stuff like that. But here's the important part. Now, languages known in 2017, JavaScript is 2018's most popular language, which is cool. JavaScript, as you can see, it, uh, it's get, gaining mass adoption. But languages developers want to learn in 2019, according to HackerRank, it seems like uh, Go and Python are out there. Go is cool. Go is actually the language behind um, Ethereum and also Hyperledger Fabric was built in Go. So, you know, there's so much going on out here. And wonder, so what programming language should I learn? So, um, here you see React poised to overtake AngularJS in 2019. Seems like React is becoming more popular than Angular. Uh, I'm not here to say Angular is better than React or React is better than Angular. I'm just reading a report that definitely you guys should um, 
read as well. So it says frameworks developers want to learn 2019, React, which is a JavaScript framework. We have others like Express, Ruby on Rails, Vue.js, blah, blah, blah. But it looks like React seems to be gaining some, um, some attention. So we have React frameworks, hiring managers want versus frameworks developers know. So it seems like hiring managers want people to know React, but most developers know Angular, but according to HackerRank, I don't know how to about it. So real world applications of technologies in 2020, we have Internet of Things, blockchain, quantum computing, and a host of other things, which I think is so, so, so cool. Best music to listen to while coding. Ah, that's an interesting one. Classical rock, pop, hip hop, and reggae. Reggae is all the way down here. Developers don't listen to reggae. We got to listen to some more reggae, man. Some more reggae, man, from Jamaica. Oh, I had this cute Jamaican thing I wanted to show you. But anyways, before I get carried away. So this is definitely a report you should look, and look at. It's a really cool one. Impact of US immigration policies on all developers survey. Uh, I have no idea what that means, but I doubt it's relevant. Anyways, HackerRank's report from Andy Stokowitz's website is definitely something to take a look at from Andy Stokowitz. And please also take your time to look at this programming language. This is the most popular website. JavaScript seems to be front-end client side and since there are so many frameworks even after learning JavaScript the question is which framework should I learn but I'm not gonna answer that today I'll leave that for another time so based on all this information from different people I mean even if you go to YouTube and you say top programming languages you will see people say different things and I'm sure they are all right but for 2020 Here's what I think. And this is just me looking at all this information, coming up with an opinion. Who knows if I'm right, but I think a good place to start. So number five will be very unpopular for me to say this in 2020. I know some people are going to say, no, how could you say this? But I think PHP. Yes, it seems to be a dying breed, but sites like Wikipedia is, as you can see, PHP is and uh, Facebook, they still use a little bit of PHP and WordPress still uses PHP. So who knows? I think it's still a good thing to learn. Yeah, PHP will be now number five. I can hear everybody saying boo! Well, that's just it for number five. Uh, anyways, number four, I would say C++ and C Sharp. Can't decide which, but these guys will hold the number four position. Now I'm not saying any this programming language is better than any other one, I'm just saying It'll be a good programming language to start with in 2020 if you're new to coding. Yeah, but uh, C++ might be a hard one. Anyways, number three. Number three will be Java. Java is still a great programming language and it's still going to be relevant, in my opinion, for years to come. Not easy to start with. I think PHP will be easier than Java and C++ and C Sharp, but I definitely think that Java is going to be a good one and number two will be the all-powerful Python Python should will be a number two to pick for programming language that will still be number two in my opinion and last but not the least number one programming language to learn in 2020 in my personal opinion will be drum roll please javascript 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 you can use javascript front end you can use it back end for node you can boost all these libraries that keep on coming out like react and vue.js you know based on javascript it's a good thing to learn and of course if you're into blockchain programming and you want to learn solidity javascript yeah, knowledge would be a good place to start to be able to do Solidity. Although you can just start Solidity on your own if you want to, but I think it would be good to have JavaScript in your arsenal and your tools of programming languages. Not, I'm not saying one programming language is better than the other. I'm just saying it's something to learn. Finally, 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 like I said, I like listening to podcasts and listen to the podcast by this genius who I thought was a genius, I forget his name. And he said something I thought was really, really cool. He said he tries to learn a new programming language every two years or something like that. Uh, they say it's not good to, you, you should be a, shouldn't be a 
was the jack of all trades, a master of none. But um, no, don't, I'm not saying you should necessarily have to master it, but it would just be a good, good idea to get a brief understanding of a um, different programming language. I'm not saying I do, but that's, I think that's a goal that I'm going to have to, maybe every two years too. I'll see if I can pick up something new. That would be a good goal to go after. What do you guys think? So, this is Remy saying number five, PHP, number four, C and C sharp, three will be Java, two, Python, and number one, in my opinion, will be JavaScript. So, here's what I want you to do is come up with your list of what you think the top five programming languages in 2020 will be based on your own research and based on what you think. The market is looking at so we'd love to hear your comments and your opinions as well so until next time this is remy saying my wish for you is that you learn how to code because coding is changing and will change the world especially this blockchain distributed ledger technology space and in my personal opinion those who get involved early will greatly impact the future and if that's you then let's go change the world baby <laughs>